um, every day, um, especially knowing the prognosis and the way that it's going to turn out. But um, we just fight, and she's worth it. I get to get you. Yes, you will. <laughs> Tonight, a little girl with an incurable disease facing incredible odds. Her name is Scarlett. She's my granddaughter. Well, tomorrow morning, more than a thousand people will gather in Wald Lake for the Passion for Life 5K. It is an annual event to raise money and awareness for an inspirational child. And that child this year, my granddaughter Scarlett. Her mother and father have agreed to let me share her story with you. Like any typical two and a half year old, my granddaughter Scarlett is a handful. She's curious, she's bright. And she talks a lot. There's a bunny rabbit. But other than that, Scarlett is not your typical two and a half year old. Scarlett was born with a rare genetic disease known as SMA, spinal muscular atrophy. In a nutshell, her body cannot build muscles, and what she has is slowly wasting away. Good job. Her mother is my daughter, Hillary. So Scarlett, um, individually, uh, is affected pretty much from her armpits down. Um, she's very floppy overall. Um, her legs don't work at all. Um, she's got limited movement in her arms, um, limited movement in her fingers, and limited movement. About one in every 10,000 babies born will have some degree of SMA. And like most of their families, Hillary and her husband Ryan never saw it coming. Scarlett was born in November 2012, just over nine pounds, all fingers and toes accounted for. The picture of perfect health. Roll over. And at four months, Scarlett rolled for the first time. We didn't know it would be the last time. We started noticing that she wasn't progressing muscularly. Um, like we, she rolled that one time and then she never did it again and we never could figure out why. We did great go, you silly, you fell. You know, she wasn't starting to crawl. She wasn't having any kind of urges to get up and do anything. She just wanted to kind of lay on her back. Uh, she wasn't really lifting her arms too much. She wasn't doing a whole lot with her head. She would cry at tummy time and it just, it didn't seem right. Like as a mom, just something wasn't, wasn't sitting with us. Up above, world so by 10 months, the diagnosis was official, SMA type 2. As of now, there's no treatments, there's no cure, um, there's nothing we can do but palliative care. So. And what's that mean? So it just means day-to-day -day life, just making her as comfortable as possible, keeping her as healthy as possible. Um, we do respiratory care on her, um, cough machines, we do inhalers uh, to keep her airways clear, um, keeping her away from sick people helps, and just making sure her hands are washed and clean and she's in a very safe and healthy environment. You've heard the saying, it takes a village. Well, look behind any SMA baby and you'll find one. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I like to draw a big, long road. Scarlett has occupational therapy twice a week. The cow. Two sets of grandparents chip in whenever they're needed. And then there are the complete strangers who give time and money at fundraisers like this weekend's Passion for Life in Walled Lake. It's a, it's a 5K. You come out, you pay some money for the registration, and then you just have some fun. You bring, bring your dogs, bring your kids, and uh, all the money will go to SMA Research at U of M Mott Children's Hospital. Hi! <laughs> to Hillary and Ryan, Scarlett is your typical two-and-a-half-year-old with some big challenges. But SMA is what she has. It goes a lot. It's not who she is. Today she's fine. That's our motto. Um, if, we, if we think too far into the future, that's when things start getting a little tough. Uh, so today she's fine. Today she's thriving. She's beautiful. She's doing well. And we just make her childhood as normal as possible. And that's all we can do. Bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. 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 Hi, you. <laughs> You might have uh, got it by now. That uh, Scarlett talks a lot. She, yeah, and she, she calls you Papa, calls so she's Papa. saying, "Where's Papa?" She, you know, she gets very concerned if she doesn't see me. And one of the issues she can't really turn her head around a lot, so she likes people to be where she can see them. So we all know to get in the kind of intervention tomorrow morning. Uh, they got like a thousand people signed up for this walk tomorrow, and in, in, uh, despite the cold temperatures, um, and they're gonna probably have a couple hundred show up anyway. So. Now I gotta ask you a tough question, mm -hmm. but what, what does the future hold for little Scarlett? Uh, prognosis is, as Hillary said, there is no cure. Um, uh, so the future is she would be lucky at this point in time to make it out of high school. Uh, but on the happy note and on the good note, of all the muscular diseases we're told, this is the one farthest along towards a cure. 
So that cure may exist already. They're testing lots of things in Europe that will be here in the next few years. We in the SMA community just hope it gets here soon. Absolutely. In meantime, it gets here soon, and then they can get something that will start helping her. In the meantime, you're just going to watch her day to day Keep her and grow I mean, as a beautiful thing, little oh yeah, child that she is. The worst thing is if, you, if you've got a cold or something, please don't. Don't touch her. That's really, really bad. You better keep her warm tomorrow, yeah, then, right? Or you betcha. It's just going to be cold out there, right, Dave? Freezing. Oh, she'll probably tell me. Yeah, she <laughs> She's going, Dave, hey, Dave. Hey, let me show you what's going uh, on. Thank you, Steve, for sharing that. I know it takes a lot, and, and you guys are all very brave. So if you can help out tomorrow, please do.